Hello and uh, welcome to Channel Under the Mask. I haven't said that before, I don't think. Um, this is a tutorial based research channel and um, tutorial wise uh, I will not be showing you um, the research in action which I, which I normally do. I've done this in the earlier videos so if you're interested to understand how the tools work and what I'm actually doing I highly recommend going to have a look at those it will make a lot more sense you can see the research in action so you can get to grips with the image um, as I will be discussing in a minute this is a problem we have with the images they're, they're very difficult to understand it's very confusing and um, I will get into it now okay um, Right, Antarctica. Let's go and have a look at the uh, place in question. Sorry, I haven't done many videos for a while. I'm still a bit rusty. So ignore my uh, little tags. Um, they're not necessarily that relevant to... Now, if you remember... I did had a title on a Antarctic image, and um, it was called uh, Alien Ski Resort, <clears throat> which was a little bit of a joke, really. But um, that is that area, and I have mentioned that line, and we will be looking at that at some point. And then I did another video on a small area down here, but today we will be looking at another area in the same location oh, it does that okay we're going to be looking at this area here So, just a few things I want to point out why I decided to have a look at this area. Um, this little bit, unfortunately, has missed out, out the um, the uh, photograph I took, which you can do up here, somewhere or another. Um, is this here. See the dark line? Now, while I was talking about image quality and stuff, I mean, this looks atrocious, doesn't it? With all the... Looks like an Atari, an old school Atari computer game. Um, it's because in here, and you can reference this into an older video which I did, which I think was... Um, Mercury. I think it was Mercury, the Mickey Mouse crater which um, on those earlier videos we got we learned a lot about the uh, the blatant covering up of um, these images but here is the same it's like on the crater edge they're completely blurred out darkened um, the crater and then literally just missed a section out which it totally looks like they've done here. And um, that's a bit of a giveaway to me. Also, there are different areas with a different makeup, shall we say. These look like they've been blurred out. I've explained about blurring and stuff. And I've showed you blurring the image so you wouldn't know the difference if I had done it or not. So um, these are just a few things which completely stick out to me. And uh, if you are new to this channel, um, you need to give yourself 
time to adjust to the images. Um, obviously, this is not high definition. Uh, this is uh, terrible quality. Um, and you ask yourself, why are these um, images so poor? Um, if you do any research on um, satellite, like the Landsat, which does most of these things, which one's this? This is the Maxmar. Maxmar Technologies, and they rave about the quality that they uh, uh, can produce and how close they can get to things and stuff, but yet we're still presented with really low quality images. Um, honestly, it doesn't make any sense, even though this is 1985. Well, I've done stuff with... Um, high altitude um, early 1900s aerial photography and um, you know you know what I'm saying this simply is not acceptable now when I was looking at this and thinking that I thought right I'm gonna get a comparison I'm gonna go and look somewhere and this will be on another video so if I can remember where is here we go just wanted to make a comparison because you can look all over Antarctic and you can find varying levels of quality uh, on the images and I was thinking well if we've got a very low quality um, section which I think I can locate some anomalies in then I just wanted to show you the uh, the difference between different areas you see how that changed that's that's another 1985 image so I was looking at this one I was just going to give a comparison of how different this looks and there are better images than this as well but on closer inspection I managed to find anomalies in this image, believe it or not. So now I don't know. So we've got very bad quality images uh, with anomalies in and high quality images. But I would reckon that some of this stuff you're seeing isn't actually real at all. Um, and there's, there's absolutely no way you'd know the, the difference with um, the software that's available today. So, let's, where are we? Let's quickly go back to this one. I'll just give you some scale. And if you look down at the bottom of the image, it's got the... Uh, navigation sort of thing so if you take a look at that one now you can copy that one I don't know how to get this printed onto the image when you uh, take a snapshot anyway so this is the area we're going to be looking at it's going to be up the other way so quickly let's do it in miles So remember that was the town that we had a look at. That's quite incredible. So it's this area here. Point two five. Uh, let's do it in kilometers. It's half a kilometer. So it's nothing really. Okay, let's go to the image. Uh, this is a bit darker. Um, I'd started the, uh, you'll notice, if I quickly go back to that. It's a lot lighter as well. 
the more white you have in an image, the reason why the image is dark down is not just part of the um, the enhancement process, but um, the white can actually glare, so um, it can be quite harsh to look at it. So this is the area we're going to be looking at. Let's just zoom out a bit. I haven't thought about this video, so sorry if it's going, if I'm going on a bit. So we're right in the middle there. It's not marked or listed or anything like on the other one with the uh, the mountain names and stuff. Um, So 45 miles and maybe 40 miles, 70 miles from the nearest coastline. Okay. Okay, so like I was saying, um, do refer to the, I'm sure it's Mercury, um, but the Dione and uh, series I think there's about five of those with multiple maps in, in each uh, video um, just exploring the makeup and the way that these things are covered up so okay initially you think this is low quality but also that the enhancement which I use goes through a number of um, tonal values I can show you here down here one makes it darker one makes it lighter so nothing's laid down nothing is um, no uh, pixels are moved around manipulated it's um, purely the the tonal values uh, and that's what we use to get um, these hidden anomalies out okay right so let's have a look at the enhanced version it will be black and white okay right so if you are new um, please take your time just to um, acclimatize to the image it's difficult uh, I think the best way to do it is just I don't know if any of you are using magnifying glasses to look at this stuff so I'll do some various zooming and things um, but what what you need to look for is that basically what we're seeing um, this is not directly above so we, we're going to have tops sides um, shadows you're going to see um, structure uh, parts of the structures going under things um, over things and um, I'll point them out as best as I can um, but it can get very confusing this is an area I'd like to have worked on a bit more but um, uh, apologies for the microphone um, please let me know about it because uh, it's not very happy it's only a cheap one I think it's on the way out but initially um, I'll flip between these. So basically in the dark darken areas with my um, presuming that something is hidden here um, as far as I'm concerned uh, I was correct there's definitely something in here now if you have been watching the other videos and stuff this does um, frequently um, look very familiar to a lot of the stuff we're finding on the planets and moons out there and uh, we're well into the 20s now um, so I'll let you make up your own mind about that um, And also bear in mind what I said about 
finding anomalies in these the, the higher quality images which you get as well so that was a surprise and uh, I'll show you that in the next Antarctic um, video so let's get in a bit closer and like I say give yourself time um, so immediately uh, looking at this uh, the lighter areas of this would look like the tops of something a wall um, and obviously uh, because of the low quality I don't think um, they're probably quite as right angled and stuff and that but it, it, it's difficult to say because if you look around it in the other areas there's a lot more smoother lines so you've got a mix up of it all which is confusing in itself Um, and if you watch the the earlier videos with um, it shows me looking in the the dark areas first because um, there's so much hidden in these dark areas so this looks like um, a wall of some description and these are the tops And we see we have this platform-esque type sort of construction again. And when you can see the layout and the way things are joined up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go and uh, check the other videos. Uh, it, it will start making sense. The whole series of the videos is um, it's been a big learning curve for me and uh, and you hopefully and we've learned so much about what is going on or I don't know, I don't know what's going on. So another thing as well, um, if this was, hadn't been mucked around with, in, in my experience with graphics and stuff, um, and this was the whole image, bar the stitching which they, uh, they mosaic these, these uh, images together, would all be the same. And you can see that there's a different makeup, digital makeup here of the image which says to me that it's been played with prior to them releasing it so if I just pull out a bit it has an industrial look to it which is very familiar um, description descriptive word that we use and so if we look at this area you can see how different that is if I just pop that back in there you can see where they've gone up to this line there's clearly something underneath it which they uh, have missed out and this area is much more it's softer it's more it's it's what blurring does and I'm not sure if it's in the murky one or not but when you when you go over if you use a blur tool and then you um, stop and go back to it, stop and go back to it, you can actually see the overlays of the, the brush marks and 
they're not brush of sorts but this is what you can sort of see going on here well, I won't go too far into that, there's, there's some good explanations of that stuff in some of the other videos. But we're looking at the layout here, and the structures which we can see coming through. Now to me these look like, um, I don't know, industrial base buildings, constructions, um, has an industrial look to it. But you can clearly see the layout, the structuring, the structural layout of this area. And it spreads out, as you can see. I've done a few bits and bobs up here. And you can see where there are stuff. This is quite interesting. If you're new um, to this channel, you try and get your head around it. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is because I don't know exactly what it is and I'm trying not to put um, uh, uh, answers into your head this clearly looks like it's coming out from underneath uh, a cavern or a crevice. Quickly show you that. So with the enhancement method that I use, uh, the more you work on it, um, and the more tonal values that you use, the more you can visually um, compress the image, the, the the image, and you can eliminate blurring, and you can bring out more detail. But it takes a long time. You can't do this stuff quickly. Oops, sorry. But if you look here, I can get a, a paintbrush. Okay, I might have to. Uh, Oh, maybe let's just do it. Okay. Oh, no. See if I can do anything with this. There's some areas in here. Let's try and give you an idea of the angles of which you're, you're looking at these things at. So this, let's fit that. I'm not very good at this. So is that Is that a peak? I don't think that's a very good example. 
But these are the tops. This would be the top area. This would be the top area. That was a bad demonstration, apologies. I have to sort the uh, pencil wasn't the right one to use. For me on my screen here, this is probably the best level for me to actually see the the structures as, uh, as clearly as I can. So this one here, this looks like a tower sticking out. That's the very top. Of a closer look. See here, see where this goes down. This is the structure sticking out. That is the top. This is a platform area around it, and you can see where this goes down. This is the underneath. This is where it comes out again, and so on. Not very good description. This fire doesn't bother. I'm going to try and get the images as best I can so you can just visually see the stuff in front of you so if that's confused you I do apologize very different so remember how close we were to the, uh, the ski resort and the other piece So you have to give yourself a little bit of time, uh, a little bit of time to get used to this. The closer in you get, but you can see, you can start seeing a lot of details. This is quite unusual. Let's check this whole area out. Pause it and, and try and get your head around it. It's 
so well i hope you got some of that and i didn't confuse you too much um blatantly obvious to me um taking in account to account the uh the giveaways and then it's just a case of um digging deep into the image Quite incredible. Is this another little tower sticking up? Anyway guys, let me know what you thought about this one. Um, remember to like the video as well. Um, that helps. We're slowly getting there. And I'll see you all soon with some crazy stuff. Okay, I hope this is okay for you. Alright guys, um, see you soon.